I feel like we've gotten to a point where Draymond Green is no longer going to be able to get away with doing stupid shit. Draymond Green has once again been suspended, but something about this seems a little bit different. If you guys remember about two to three weeks ago, Draymond Green during an in-season tournament game put Rudy Gobert in a chokehold. Why he put him in a chokehold, I don't really know. You could argue it had to do with the history between the two, but I still don't think that justifies what he did. And trust me, this is an event we're definitely going to get back to. So Rudy Gobert, he comes back from his suspension. I think he was suspended for about five games and he comes back and he's playing the Phoenix Suns in a normal regular season game and then he does this to Yusuf Nurkic. Pass. Beal just picked up his third foul and now Green runs over Nurkic and he'll be called for the foul. Ooh, oh man. Well, that's good. Again, why he did this, I don't really know. Nurkic isn't really someone that gets into altercations that much. The fact that he did this to him is kind of surprising to me. Now, what I thought was very interesting was his reaction after the game and what Draymond actually said to the media. Because I, I hit him. So I do apologize to him. And I didn't intend to hit him. So I think you guys have known me long enough. If I intended to do something, I'm not apologizing for it. Um, but. I did make contact with him, so I apologize because it wasn't my intention. Okay, so he didn't mean to do it. Maybe we should forgive him. Nah, not so fast. It seems like Draymond Green has a lot of mental issues that he has to deal with, but also it seems like this guy just doesn't give a fuck anymore and he's just playing the PR game. But should we even be surprised? Well, he has a long history of doing this, and if you know Draymond Green, you know this probably will not be the last time he does something like this. So I actually want to go back to last offseason where Draymond Green punched Jordan Poole. If you guys remember, some people were very 50-50 on the situation. Some people were blaming me Jordan Poole saying he's being ignorant even though we really didn't know what Jordan Poole actually said all we had was footage but no like audio recording and then we had people saying Draymond stop being a fucking idiot and if you ask me I think that's one of the reasons why Jordan Poole ended up getting traded and I think you guys remember right after the situation Draymond Green put out some documentary on TNT saying like oh you know I've changed that's not who I am I made a mistake blah 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 I think he even like showed his family on there which I thought was fucking hilarious trying to persuade the masses but in reality it did nothing in fact to me most people think he's just trying to well persuade the masses and i find it funny that i believe he's been ejected five times after that documentary went live and i don't think you guys realize how long ago that was i think it was only about a year ish and maybe some months ago and yet nothing has changed draymond is the same person he's still doing stupid shit but there's one key thing that is different see when draymond green was in his prime being a defensive player the year winner being the anchor of the warriors defense which was one of the best in the league at some point and overall being one of the best point forwards in basketball it didn't really matter that he did this shit sure if he got suspended for a game or two it hurt the team but at the end of the day it was just the antics and really it wasn't costing him too much sure there were the fines the a few ejections every now and then of course there was always the dirtiest player in the league but in reality does that really matter to the warriors let alone Draymond green no it doesn't and Draymond was able to get away with this stuff because again he was the best defender on this team and quite frankly the warriors needed him you couldn't just throw him to the side he's the Dennis rodman of the team he can do just about anything he wants as long as you're winning but when the winning stops that's when Draymond Green's antics were supposed to but they didn't because Draymond Green kept doing stupid shit and the Warriors started to lose these antics aren't so fun anymore I'm sure the Warriors were pissed off when Draymond Green would do these stupid things but in reality there's nothing they could have done because they needed him but we're at a point in Draymond Green's career where I don't know if the Warriors need him as much I get it his defense is not the best compared to what it used to be but what he does as a point forward is still very vital to the Warriors and of course he's regressed he's getting old but i think the warriors are at a point where they can stand to lose draymond green and not feel bad about it because draymond green is doing this to himself so now that we know that draymond green is no longer as effective so the warriors aren't going to take his shit and we know that there's a chance he's going to be suspended which he technically is right now what the hell is going to happen to draymond well it was announced about a couple days ago that he's going to be suspended indefinitely now indefinitely is not a normal suspension it's not very common for a player to be suspended indefinitely usually when someone does something really bad bad that's why they get suspended indefinitely like for example i think ron artest got suspended indefinitely for the mouse the palace i think john morant during the gun situation was handed a suspension indefinitely i think there were players like oj mayo and tyreek evans who were banned indefinitely or maybe it was for life for some of them i'm not entirely sure the, the word gets thrown around a lot in some weird ways the point is there's no specific number on draymond's suspension now some people are speculating oh it's going to be five games they're going to put him through some counseling and he'll be back now in a warriors video that's coming on the channel in about a couple days i did 
did say that I think it's going to be 10 to 15 games, and I'm going to stand on that. The last we heard about the situation is that the Warriors, I think Draymond Green, and some other members of the team are going to meet with the NBA, and they're going to discuss what's going on with Draymond. They're going to try to figure out how they can fix him, you know, if they have to put him through counseling, which I think is actually going to happen. But in reality, I don't think this is going to do anything. I think Draymond is going to get out of the suspension. He's going to apologize. He's going to be like, oh, I'm a different person. And he's going to go right back to hurting people because I don't think Draymond gives a fuck. I truly do think this is more deeper than basketball. Like when Patrick Beverly antagonizes people, I think he's one, just a really competitive person. But two, his main goal is to piss you off. Patrick Beverly is not the best shooter on the team. He's not the best defender on the team. What he is going to do is he's going to piss you off and throw you off your game. And then when he gets a couple buckets, you know, he's going off. That's going to piss you off even more. Beverly is the antagonizer on just about any single team he's been on. And I feel like that's what Draymond used to be in some ways. The difference was Draymond Green is actually better than just an antagonizer. He's an all defensive player. At least he used to be. He was a defensive player of the year winner. Well, he used to be. He's one of the most important parts of this team. He used to do. Do you see what I'm getting at? But first, gentlemen, if you guys have been enjoying the video, then make sure you guys leave a like. And while you're down there, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Gentlemen, we've had one hell of a year. And honestly, I I'm very appreciative of what y'all have done for me. I'm definitely going to recap this whole entire 2023 in a video coming up pretty soon. But for real, I appreciate y'all. Also, I know I'm going to get comments about it. I know some of y'all are going to talk about it anyway. So I might as well just address it now. What do y'all think of the Christmas tree, bro? I think it looks nice. I've had it in a couple videos already in December. But I just wanted to see what y'all had to say about it. Anyways, boys, I don't got really much to say, so let's get back to the video. Draymond is no longer effective, and because of this, it seems like everyone around him is just completely done with him. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if the Warriors keep him when his suspension is done. Like, let's say he comes back in January. Do the Warriors really need to keep him? I do see a situation where they either cut him or they trade him, because quite frankly, I don't think Draymond is a positive on this team. If anything, I think he is not only statistically, but just realistically a net negative for the Warriors. The Warriors are in the middle of one of the most egregious downfalls I've ever seen from a former possibly dynasty team and because of this i know the big three is going to break up i mean i think steph's gonna stay on the team but clay thompson and draymond their time is basically up but look getting back to draymond yeah this man is just a complete fucking nutcase and idiot i don't think counseling's gonna do anything i don't think really the warriors can fix him i actually think it's a little bit more deeper than basketball because i saw a quote i can't remember where i saw it but apparently draymond green said something along the lines of and this is referring to the rudy gobert situation that he didn't know how long he held on to gobert for that tells me one of two things. Either A, he's lying because he fucking hates Rudy Gobert, or B, he genuinely blacked out and had a rage moment. I'm not sure what that's called. There's probably a better term for it, but he just blacked out and was so pissed off that he had no control of what he did. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a dangerous fucking player. You do not want him on the court. Now, what I found the most interesting is the fact that Warriors fans are no longer taking this shit. They are done with Draymond Green. And when your own fans are turning on you, there's nobody left, buddy. I feel like Draymond Green is at the end point of his career, and I do believe that after this season, it's going to get very interesting for him. I said earlier in the video, I think he's either going to get traded or cut. I don't think he stays on Golden State for long. And maybe if he does get the help that he desperately needs, then he might stay on the team. But, you know, basketball-wise, he's not really that effective anymore. It sucks to think that Draymond Green is the reason why this team completely crumbles, I'm not going to say it's 100% his fault because stuff like age and injuries and, you know, management not making the best picks, that obviously has an effect. But I do think Draymond Green has played a pretty big factor on certain people leaving and just, you know, kind of fucking up a lot of things. And funny enough, there's another player in the NBA that is slowly starting to becoming one of the most hated players in basketball. And why? Well, it's because he's starting to show his greatness. And that player is none other than Yon. And if you want to know why people are continuing to ignore him and his dominance, well, click the video right here. 